Thank you. As I said, good afternoon and welcome to our in-person and uh, on the web audiences. Many, I think many people who were going to come decided to stay home next to their furnaces, radiators, heating ducts, but we welcome all of you to joining us. In fact, we, we estimate based on registration that a, proc a little over 800 people are, are potentially listening to this either here or on the web, which for us is an extraordinary number and we're really happy about that. We thank you all for your interest in this workshop. I'm Lynn Parker and I'm the director of the Roundtable here at the Institute of Medicine. And uh, the Roundtable uh, is sponsoring this workshop on, on the current state of obesity solutions in the United States. And this, this workshop kicks off its first meeting. It's just beginning its work today. Uh, the Roundtable comprises a cross-sectoral group of leaders from public health, healthcare, government, food industry, education, philanthropy, diverse nonprofits, and academ academia, which will convene regularly in ongoing dialogues about what we can do to implement uh, obesity solutions in the United States in, in both prevention and control. It will extend the reach of its work uh, through it, the work through its work in these conversations through public forums, through events, through publications and other products, through an on, and through an online presence as well. So we we plan to keep in touch with you and um, converse with you and get materials and ideas to you and hear back from you uh, over the next three years. I want to call your attention to a flash drive that uh, is at the front desk, which uh, some of you have received as you've registered, uh, that we would, and if you haven't, please take one, they're free to you. This is sort of the foundation upon which the future work of this roundtable will be based, the work of the IOM so far in obesity prevention. Uh, the roundtable chair is Bill Purcell, He's currently an attorney in Nashville, Tennessee, formerly Nashville's mayor, uh, majority leader of the Tennessee State Legislature, and the director of Harvard's Kennedy School of Government. So I'm going to turn over the meeting to Bill Purcell. Let me say what a great personal privilege it is to be here at the National Academies with so much of the Institute of Medicine and in such incredibly good company in this room today, both members of the round table, uh, as well as in this particular audience. And as Lynn said, for all of us to be here at the beginning of a new year, uh, a new chapter, a new adventure, and a new set of opportunities uh, in imp critically important work that did not necessarily begin in this institute or in these academies, but has been advanced in historic ways throughout more now than 10 years, uh, almost from the start of the recognition and understanding in this country of the epidemic we faced. The Institute of Medicine stepped up uh, to be engaged and to engage the academic community, and in many ways, uh, important, uh, an important result is this round table. The round table itself is made up uh, of an extraordinary group of individuals. I'm pleased to recognize and, uh, uh, and introduce uh, from their seats here today uh, our two vice chairs, Mar Mary Story, who is professor of global health and community and family medicine at Duke as of last week. Where is Mary? Over here. And also uh, Russ Pate, uh, who is Professor of Exercise Science at the University of South Carolina. Russ is right here. I want to also acknowledge the three roundtable and workshop planning committee members who are so important to the work we are about to experience together. Lisa Gable, President of the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation. Shariki uh, Kumanyika, Professor of uh, uh, well, she's at the School of Medicine, Associate Dean for Health Promotion and Disease Prevention at the University of Pennsylvania, and there's several more uh, portions to her, uh, to her title. But everyone in this room knows and loves Shariki because she's been here uh, and with us throughout this work. And finally, Lowell Solomon, Vice President for Community Health at Kaiser Permanente's Community Benefit 
program, I would ask them at least uh, to stand or at least raise their hands where they are seated. And then if I might ask all members of the round table, please to stand. Well, that applause was begun by Harvey Feinberg. And so when Harvey Feinberg begins applause, you know that's exactly what you should do. He is, as you know, president of the Institute of Medicine. Uh, he served Harvard University as provost and also as dean of the School of Public Health. Uh, his work uh, and his experiences, uh, I think, uh, are known to those in this room and those who are participating by webcast. Academically, Harvey Feinberg is an overachiever. Uh, that much is very, very clear. But more importantly, as the beloved president of this institute, he has, during the course now of two full terms nearly, 12 years, overseen and directed the team that has produced the historic inquiry and reporting on obesity that is a part of that small card that Lynn Pointer uh, held up. But Lynn, Lynn's uh, small representation of that effort does not begin to help us, I think, fully understand all that has occurred in the course of uh, this last 12 years. He has assured both the work and the progress will continue after the conclusion of his tenure, which will come in June, by the creation of this roundtable. It's my pleasure to introduce and present again to the people in this room, Dr. Harvey Feinberg. <laughs> 